Okay, I've just cut out uh, what I laid out for you, and this is what it looks like. Uh, I've started doing a little bit of sanding off the edge here to try to uh, just ease up the edges, but you can see my lines uh, where they came out at. Uh, we're going to shape the tip here, uh, and then I'm going to put my little knocks in here, but I just wanted to show you that. Uh, I'll do a little tailoring here. Okay, I'm going to shake the tip of this. in it, a knock. I drop down about three quarters of an inch. I use my fingers, I put them like that. Uh, I squeeze pretty tight and then I lay my this up against it so I just rub it against my fingers so I'm not moving all over the board. I don't want to scratch it. A little surface to lay it on. So. Here, I'll zoom in a little. Okay. Go back to what I'm doing here. And keep sawing. Filing, filing. A lot of people use Dremel tools, but I have more control with this. Okay. Deep enough. Now I'll roll it over, start going back the other direction. go back towards the top, I'll show you here in a second. Always want to roll it back over like this too. You want to go down and, and, and make it a continuous because you want there will be sharp right there and you want to take that so you don't cut your string. Start going up. And then I transfer it around the back, give it a little decorative. One knock to go. Okay, next time I'll show you is that most of these boards, you know, three quarters of an inch, to have a good handle, uh, three quarters of an inch is a little narrow, a little thin, so I like to glue on another quarter inch piece on the back here, which, you know, you can take any of your scrap as long as it's big enough to fit on there, because you can always cut it off and sand it as long as it's plenty big. Uh, I like to sometimes use a different kind of wood to kind of dress it up a little bit. So on this flat side right here on the belly, get you some glue. Uh, I use Gorilla Glue. That's pretty strong. That's uh, really strong. Or any other kind of uh, application that I need that would require stress or a lot more strength, I'll, I'll use an epoxy. So, but things like this, man light backing and stuff, Gorilla Glue is really well. Uh, the thing about Gorilla Glue is you got to get the board wet, or your bow wet, wipe it down with a wet rag, and also you wet this down, you wet this down, spread your Gorilla Glue on there, spread it out really thin, don't scrape it off, but put it really thin, a little dab will do you, put it on there, and Gorilla Glue expands and swells and it's like a foam, and I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, and clamp it down pretty good and that will be good and I'll show you here. Hold on. Oh look, the magic of television. There's another one. Or not another one. This is the bow that I had glued up. 
like this off and I'll show you. Oops. Hey, you left your pants over there. Somebody's missing something. Somebody with that home. Anyways, as you can see, I glued that on the back there to give it a little bit extra thickness. I have a little piece of Osage left over from my longbow that I'm making. And so I'm going to sand that off. First I'm going to take the bandsaw and cut the extra off, the excess, and then I'll start shaping this back here. <laughs> 